Oh, what's going on? Welcome back. We're doing another Lord of the Rings draft here on Magic Arena. Magic the Gathering Arena. Lord of the Rings draft. I am ready. Remember that time I drafted Anduril? Anduril? And I got it one time. I drew it one, one game. I remember. Pepperidge Farm remembers. Everybody remembers. And... See, Prince Imrahil is definitely the card I would be most inclined to take. But I don't want to be white-blue again. Ugh. But like the, the, the I was like the, I was like let me go into this trying to be red black because I think it's a strong archetype and then there's two cards here. I'm gonna take this. I think it's just really good. Oh, and then we get past a rosy cotton, so that's pretty good. Man, but then there's a torment of golem as well, which is very good. Rosy cotton's also very good. Shit. You guys tell me what it is. Do we take the Torment of Gollum or do we take the Rosy Cotton and stay on the colors? I'll leave it up to you guys. Let me know what you decide. If you guys are still there. All right, we got 20, 24 seconds. Two for Rosy. All right. That's probably all I need, right? Rosie is very medium. Wow. You don't have to be insulting. That's just rude. I think Rosie's actually very, very good. I don't I definitely don't think she's medium. This card is pretty medium. Uh Frodo Baggins is pretty good. I'm gonna take this Frodo Baggins. Plus, like, again, no black cards here, so I don't really feel bad. Lots of white and blue cards. Shire Sheriff? Yeah, we're taking that Sheriff. So I do this thing where I'll have my tracking, all my tracking tabs I'll have open in my browser. So if I'm expecting things, Every time I get a tracking number, I open it just so I can keep track of it. <laughs> keep track of it. Good one. <laughs> but I do this. Oh, boy. So that's a good sign. All right. Yeah, we're just going all in on the Emra Hills. We'll probably want to pick up like Limbus's and Wizard's Rockets, which we just passed, things like that. Um, and I'll do this thing where I'm like, okay, cool. It's arriving tomorrow. It's at my local post office. It's arrived. Let me refresh the tracking just to see if anything has changed. And like, there's no, there's no possible update that could be given. No, this is not an eyebrow razor. <laughs> you know, that's not really the worst guess you could have had. It's literally just a back scratcher. Like it just extends and then you do little scratches. Scratch. This is a third Prince Emrahill. Probably going to decline taking that. Might just take Wizards Rockets. I think it's Wizards Rockets here, especially because it lets us cast Frodo Baggins a little easier. Uh, this card is really impressive the one time I played it. I didn't think it was going to be that good, and then it actually really, really impressed me. Let's see who we got here. Did they not show you? They don't show you the names of the people you're playing with? Because that's weird. I'm going to highlight this. this. Okay, well, I guess I'll just take it. Why don't they show you the names? What? That's weird.
Stuart, how you doing, buddy? What are you doing today? So, this card actually really facilitates our draw one, do a thing a turn. So does Lembus, though. Kind of pooping around. <laughs> Uh, there's no reason, no reason that should be funny. I'm going to take Lembus. I think Lembus is good. Ah, uh, scry one, and you have flash. How are we looking here? Three drops? I'll take the three. Eh, we'll take the one drop, actually. Oh, Lorian or Villa. I was really hoping that would come back. Um, oh, and we get this guy? Sure. Again, we're white. I don't understand how I keep ending up in white-blue. I think it's because no one's taking the white-blue cards, so I'm not competing with everyone else for the white-blue cards. That's another Rivendell. Another Samwise. We literally had this in our last draft. Never saw it once. Not one time did we see that little that little pesky biscuit. I think it's still the pick. I think it's very good. But we're also trying to draw two cards a turn, and this guy's very good if we're doing that. I'm going to take the 4-4 four, four flyer. Shaky. 2-4. Activate. Oh, that's the act. Once it says activated abilities of lands, I'm just like, nope, I'm out. Appreciate your time. We'll take this guy to try to draw multiple cards per turn. Oh, reprieve is nice. Yeah, I'll just take the reprieve. Oh, a Nazgul. A second Frodo Baggins. I kind of just like Wizards Rockets here. Oh, did you were you saying you like Sam better than um Gwai here? Is that what you're trying to say? What is it? What is it, boy? What are you trying to say? Also, Banish is good. I think I gotta take Banish here. I think there's an argument that could be made that the that the bird might have come back, whereas like Frodo or Samwise might not. I agree. I felt bad passing that Nazgul, and I literally, I checked to see if it was legendary, which wouldn't make any sense, um, on the hopes that like I get one of the lands, one of the great halls, that let me cast legendary creatures. Flame of Anor. Oh, that's really good. Good grief. How many wizards do we have? Probably not many, right? Is bird a wizard? It's a bird noble. Bath song is interesting. I think it's just bath song here. It draws us two cards, so it helps our strategy. Type of creature. This draws a card. It's really the only card that I would even consider playing in this pack. Yeah, I guess we'll. I guess we might play Bewitching. Bewitching Leechcraft. Oh look, Horn of the Mark. Wow, that's a late Horn of the Mark. Wow. Jeez, that's why is that still in there? That card's very good. We could have four Prince Imrahils. <laughs> oh my god. Of course. 
I think my I think two is about my limit. I think I'm taking this bird here. Do we have any what are our two drops looking like? Oh, I guess we have a bunch of two drops that are of the legendary persuasion. I still might just want this guy. Yeah, I'd rather have another two drop than a five drop there. Inherited Envelope does let us cast our Frodo. I think I think You Cannot Pass is actually pretty good when we have these three and a Rosy Cotton. I don't think either of these are that good. Surrounded by orcs. Yep, sure. Oh, another flame of an ore. Yep, and then a bunch of unimpressive shit. Uh, Errand Rider of Gondor seems pretty good. Uh, yeah, I agree with that. I agree with the food token deck being pretty bad. Uh, that being said, like... When you have two Prince Emerhels, I think she's actually significantly better. Like, it just makes... He makes two twos instead. Bill the Pony. Also making tokens. Another Nazgul. We could have two Nazguls. We'll claim the Precious here. Yeah, I guess I'll just take Bill here. Oh, we're just taking... Yeah, we're just taking Great Hall, I think. Oh, I like this Faramir. Yeah, that card's... That's, that's pretty much a given. It facilitates us drawing cards. Uh, it makes creatures. Oh, the Shire. Making food tokens. So the problem with this is that we're not green. So we literally have to have this and a second green source in order to even take advantage of it. So not ideal. I guess we'll just take this birthday escape, which is... Thought to be one of the better cards in the set. Shire Sheriff? Did we already get a Shire? Wow, that's a second Shire Sheriff. That's actually... I feel like that's really good in this archetype. That's incredibly jarring, and I hope you guys didn't have to hear that, because that was extremely loud. I guess it's just another... Every deck we play gets two Gwaihirs in it. Uh, it's Hunter Hacking. I think we already got one of these, didn't we? So I think I kind of just want to narrate. Actually, let's pick the trick. All right. Oh yeah, that's good. That's a nice late 
fog on the barrow downs. Ooh, actually, I was really hoping we'd pick up a smoothing, a soothing of Smeagol. Nice and nice and soothed. Smoothing of seagulls. Oh, he's gonna do it again. Sure, sure. I think we can take you out. I don't know how I feel about stern scolding. It's kind of narrow. We need eight cuts? Jesus. I kind of feel like Lorian Revealed can go. I feel like Eagles of the North is just worse than Gwai here. If I have six mana, I'd rather be playing... 4-4, four, four. but then again, it's legendary, so maybe not. I don't know. Six more cuts? Jeez. I don't get it. How many creatures is this? 15? Oof. I don't need to cut six cards. Like, that doesn't even make any sense. <laughs> I don't understand. Cut one banish for now. Yeah, we're really banking on drawing two cards a turn here. I mean, Eastmont Cavalier just feels worse than Shire Sheriff, which we have two of. I'm, like, shocked we still have to make four cuts. Lembus and Wizard's Rocket both seem good here. I think we can probably take out You Cannot Pass. Maybe? That doesn't make any sense. Thank yep. you. Hold on. Come on, you gotta go. <laughs> he had to go. Oh boy, it's just too much, man. I I think the trick is fine. I, I mean, it's like, it's probably one of the easiest things to cut here, but also we just don't have many ways to push through that much damage. I wish we had a plus one, plus one counters on everybody. Dr. Doomscar, thank you for the resub, buddy. Really appreciate it, my dude. Um, what land should we cut here? Or what, what should we add? Do we need another? Will you tell me? White. Looks like a white. Three cards, man? This is wild. I'm just, like, shocked that we have so many cards that we need to cut. This guy might be kind of meh. But then we got onto, like, 13 creatures. Ugh. All right, that's fine. That's fine. It's got to be something, right? You got to cut something. Might just be Lembus. Yeah, we'll cut the Lembus. All right. Sure. Sure.
Oh, Wizard's Rockets into Frodo seems great. Let's keep. Auto pay. Uh, white, green. And now we have five lands and one spell in hand. Fantastic. This is how it goes every game. Did I just block? Sure. Oh, look, where were you last turn? Wow. Fantastic. Uh, one, two, three, four. I guess we're getting rid of an island. Oh god, why did I do that? That was so stupid. Now I don't get the loot. Oh my god, that was so bad. That was so bad on every metric. It was every metric that was bad. I did it because I wanted to start getting in with Faramir, because he's three and this guy's four. So I was like, that's easy to do. And then in my brain, I'm like, okay, well, that's... Literally, I don't get to loot. I don't get to... Draw a card. Whatever it is, make a 1-1. One -one. Which would have then given me a target for the Shire Sheriff. Like, oh god, just so bad. This is kind of awkward because, like, I want to bounce their guy. I guess we can still make a 1 1. But I also want to play this. So I want to be able to play both of these. But then, like, they're just going to play Shadow Facts. And I really don't want them to. I think we're just passing here. Oh, that's good. Well, well, well. This is our only green card, right? So I can just easily discard forest here.
Look at all the double strikers they got. Yeah, this is good. Is it power? That's pretty good. So they're going to get this guy. Yeah, that's fine. We have lots of blockers, thankfully. And they're tapped out, so... Yep, that's what we thought they'd do. I feel like I just block with build a pony here. Or I can just chump and take four, but they're at six. Three, four, five, six. Am I, what am I missing here? This doesn't have trample. Are they just dead? That was weird. I wasn't expecting them to kill themselves. But here we are. See, like, Stern Scolding, I feel like it wouldn't have even... It would have hit the 2-2 two -two that, like, the Eastmark Cavalier and then, like, no other creatures that they have. I just feel like Escape from Orthanc could be pretty good. I don't know. Um, this hand's not great, but it's got some potential, maybe. Because we have such a high dependence on drawing extra cards, I don't really want to just see. That's that's exactly why we wanted to save it. Now they have another plan. Now they have white black. What is going on? Oh, okay. Now they have their deck. There we go. Mm -hmm. I'm kind of just tempted to play Shara Sheriff as a 2 2 to block here. Because if they ever end up killing this, then they get their 3-2 back and it triggers again and that just seems worse. We also lose a token. Oh, easy block. Yeah, that's exactly why we played it. Oh, that's interesting. Do it. Do a block. Oh, I should have maybe I should have played this last. For some reason I thought he, I felt like he had to be on the battlefield to trigger, but I don't think that's true. Really? No. <laughs> it's like I don't think so. That doesn't seem good at all. Solid. Minas Taroth. That's cute, but that doesn't stop his goodness. So here's what I kind of like. Getting rid of this guy and then just keeping Reprieve up. Oh, they're going to sack it to kill. No, they didn't. Okay, cool. I thought they were going to sack it to kill Prince Imrahil. Oh, wow. And now we're online. Uh, 
Rosie Cotton, put a counter on this guy. Who's going to be the ring boy? Doesn't matter. All right. Well, I did it. There's so much going on. Yeah, that was uh that was six mana that they just threw in the garbage can. See you later, six mana. Um, we definitely need some creatures, but this could get us somewhere. Dang it. That's actually very good, though. Both of these are going to draw us extra cards, so. Oh, wow. Also, Soothing of Smeagol, if we get to bounce something, and then we get to just make him a ring bearer, and then we get to do the thing, and that's pretty cool. Really? Oh, wow. Well, that's a thing, all right. I kind of hope they kill him. Oh, this is actually pretty good. Because then we just get to play our second one. Okay, well. Not today, Gandhi. Would love one single mana to play any of our three four drops. Well, that's, that's decent. Free Gandalf? Oh, yes. Even better. As much as I want to play this and draw a card and make a 1-1... One -one, this feels significantly safer. Especially because we're going to draw one anyway. Okay, we're going to keep that. We'll get rid of Frodes. Frodes McChodes. Do you think Tolkien ever considered calling him that? Frodes McChodes? Thank you. Oh, Badger with a resub. Thank you so much, buddy. Really appreciate you. Feels like longer, to be honest. Ah, uh, no blocks. Think they're going to ninjutsu something there? They did not. Okay. Well, we know they have Gandy. Gandy McAlferson. Do I want it to trigger? Not that badly, I guess. So... I 
I would love to play Faramir, but I think we need to draw cards here. Feels like longer? I mean, it just means it feels like I've known you for longer than five years. Like, that seems like a compliment, right? Like, I don't know. That didn't seem like a negative thing. <laughs> oh, sweet. I was really hoping that we would draw literal zero lands. That's exactly what I wanted. I'll get rid of Arwen's gift. Unbelievable. There's your Gandhi. Frodes McChodes and Gandhi McCandy. The real heroes of Lord of the Rings. Uh, these are not their names. Thank you. <laughs> Badger, I love you, buddy. Well, it's just like old times. Really appreciate you. And also, thank you. I meant feels like longer as a compliment. As if I feels like I've known you my whole life, buddy. In the best way. Uh, no blocks. You. Really appreciate you. Thank you so much, bud. Oh, there we go. Finally. Thank you. Okay. Okay. Now we're now we're really catching up here as the kids say. Is it this Thank one? You. I think it is this one. Make a guy. Make this. Play this. Thank you. Do I want to play this? I don't even know. <laughs> they just have Thank six you. mana just casually sitting there. Brutal. Brutal. Thank you. I feel like I don't even want to attack. I could have played my bird, and I didn't. I'm so stupid. Thank you. Sure, why not? What do I got to Thank lose? You. you know. I know they're gonna plus one, plus three, and untap. Oh wow! I want all of these. Jeez. Um, I think it's Rosie Cotton here. And then we get to loot. I recently spotted an albino Dalmatian. It was the least I could do for him. <laughs> no. No. It might be Bill. It might also just be land. I feel like we're going through enough, and this gets us two mana next turn. I'd rather just keep our spells. Yep, here we go. Here we go. How many flash creatures are there? Oh, that's a flash thing. I didn't even, that's a sorcerer. Oh, it's an instant because of this. Fantastic. Well. Such good times. Who's had better times, you know? Not me. Not I. Fantastic. Just great. Just great. Good for you. So happy for you. I hope everything in life goes your way. So this is what, three, four, five, six, seven mana next turn. We don't have a legendary creature. So we can still play this guy and this guy. We'll just have to discard something. Which is worse. And also they, of course, every 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 opponent I play against who has red has this guy in their deck. Five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Cool. I guess we'll just do what's known as chump blocking. So they can bring us down to three. Shuffle the things. You, you, uh, Rosie. Uh, banish and soothing. A caveman and a bear walk into a bar. Barter says, okay, what's your story? Caveman replies, bear with me.
three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Why? Oh, Lord. Give me your answer for creature on your control this turn. Hmm. One, two, three, four, five. Ugh. God. We'll kind of like to play this on here. And then what we block here, block here, take two, and then like we're just going to the next game. What do you call someone who points out the obvious? Someone who point... You're right. Five years feels like so long. <laughs> I kind of like escape here. I feel like it's good. Am I crazy? I can't be. Yeah, let's try that. In the 1960s, you was considered using nuclear bombs to excavate a second Panama. Jesus, God. Really glad they didn't do that. Really glad they didn't do that. Also, if you guys are watching, check out HelloFresh. They are the sponsor of our stream, and I get a sick kickback if you guys place an order, basically. You get 50% off your first box along with free shipping. You can cancel at any time, and I guarantee you, you will enjoy it. They have great meals, great service, and you'll love it. HelloFresh. Use the promo code in the description, down below in the YouTube description, down in the Twitch description, anywhere in the chat. You can find all these things. I subscribed in the last time and I'm subs and, and I'm still subscribed. That's both great and sad. Great because you still enjoy it. And why wouldn't you? And sad because you can't do it again. It's a really it's a real double-edged sword. Come on planes. Fantastic. Thank you. What do you have against the second Panama Canal? Yeah, I think it's just, I think one is enough, you know? Fashionably late to the party, but I accept. Let me guess, Glorious Gale? Obviously, fantastic. Wow, this has just been such a pleasure. I, I'm such a lucky boy. I can't wait to go home. Phenomenal. The first camel in Australia accidentally shot its owner. You know what? That's the most Australian thing I can think of, to be honest with you. Another, another island, huh? That's pretty good. I guess we can cast one thing. <sighs> I'm going to bottom both of these because they don't actually do anything for us. This guy actually might do something for us. Wow, they're at the third level already. Thanks to Gloria Scale Birthday Escape and the other guy. Sure, that's great. Oh, God.
Fascinating. Wow, amazing. Make sure you kill this guy before combat though. Fantastic. Heaven forbid one of my things triggered. <sighs> Last fact of the day. In 2020, a national park in Thailand started sending visitors litter back to them in a post along with a note saying you forgot these things. Wow, that's amazing. Even though it's probably really pricey to do, that sounds like an amazing policy. And it really just shoves it in their face. Still not attacking here. I just don't feel like it's any good. Sure. Whenever you think they don't have something to do and maybe they miss the land drop or maybe they just don't have any good cards, it's just because they have a flash creature. Eleven seventy three. Construction of the Tower of Pisa begins, and it takes two centuries to complete. That's a long time. Okay, now we're talking. How much mana do I have? Four? Perfect. Put this fat daddy in our hand. Discard this guy. So they make a guy. Alright, that was a that was a sequence of events that I'm sure will not be punished in any way, shape, or form. And it's still leaned. Contractors, am I right? <laughs> if you want the job done right. Thank you. Target creature control. Let's target Bill. Oh, Badger with the gifted sub again. Thank you, buddy. 1,123 gifted subs in the channel. Kind of ridiculous. This. Oh, I thought that was going to get countered. Um... That's pretty good. Quattro Temptations. 
No, I don't like it. So they get to loot. They get to deal us five damage. Okay, well. They get to put a counter on that guy. That's actually... That's actually pretty good. Yes, let's do it all. Wow, that was a good that was a good series of hits. What do we got? Four, five, six, seven. I'd like to play three, four, five. So we actually have plenty of mana to do all the things. So I can easily discard uh, this guy here. I think we might win this game based on what we're doing right this second. Um. Uh, definitely gonna just sack a 1-1 one, one here. On this day in 1945, US drops second atomic bomb, Fat Man, on Nagasaki, Japan, destroying part of the city. Topical. Topical fact of the day. Or on this day. I guess that's an on this day. Oof, got him. Well, we're now in one one territory. Stern Scolding actually might be great in this matchup, though. Let's bring that guy in. Hoping to travel back to Japan in January. That would be sick. What are you doing currently? What's your... What's your status? I still think escape could be good. Oh, sweet. That's awesome. Yeah, I feel like that's a pretty a pretty wide field as well. So that leaves lots of options open when you're done. We got 50 seconds. I like this because it lets us play Frodo on two if we happen to get that combination. Yeah, you training five to six days a week definitely checks out. Let's take that guy out. I tooted, but wait. <laughs> I'm waiting. Um, this is this is an interesting hand. Jesus. I'm going to keep it. I think the odds of us hitting other colors on the draw are quite high. And at worst, we get a Frodo on too, so. It was my car horn. Wow. Badger gifting a sub to... MTG bond. <laughs> Who better to utilize a sub than M good old MTG bot? Let the memes never die.
Badger, appreciate you. Oh my god, look at this perfect, perfect curve. Get in there, you little biscuit. They're basically dead. Man, we got a soothing. We got a stern scolding. I think I'm just going to scold them for, for this. Or we can wait till they play Gandalf, but then we're just keeping it in our hand forever. <sighs> it seems worse. <laughs> hey, they do they? Oh, what up, Bill? Bill, 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 Bill. Bill Nye the Pony Guy. Are you going to start scolding me back, even though we've never seen it? Oh, they might have Gale Force. Gale, Glorious Gale. 100% have Glorious Gale, so that's good to know. And they did not. They did not gale me. Get galed on, y'all. Look at that, they played it with exactly enough mana to keep that gale up. Exactly enough plus one. Currently it is about 75 in Fort Collins with uh, rain showers. So kind of nice. Not too bad, you know? Not too bad, you know? Um... So they do have their Gale, so they can easily counter this guy. Uh, what do we want to get rid of? White or blue here? Probably white. I feel like blue is our bottleneck. No blocks, huh? Let's check out what it is in San Diego right now. Me and Katie have been regularly checking the San Diego weather. We're just like, ooh, what would it be if we were there now? So San Diego, 78, gorgeous. And then we got Carlsbad, which is also an option, 79 with a drizzle. And then Escondido, which is probably where we're going to be closer to, 86. God. Escondido is probably the one I want to live at least just because there's like, um, it's the, it's the hottest of the, of the cities that we're considering.
Ooh, Immy. Yeah, I'll just keep both of these. I think this is fine. I'm just going to play this guy and they can counter it if they'd like. So. Knock yourself out, champ. Oh. Fascinating. Did not expect that to resolve. Tapping out for that guy seems good for us. Okay, I like it. I feel like we're in good shape here. We might just win this game yet. Yay, Bill has the ring now. Wonderful. So we can bounce this. Oh, they got the gale up again. They just keep galing us. Okay, that's pretty good, though. Um... Maybe they don't have Gale. Maybe they're just messing with us. <laughs> Are you just fucking with us? Right? Get, get Smeagd. Smeag him out of here. No one says that. No one says Smeag him out of here. Uh, who's going to be the ring bearer today? Billiam again. Give a hoot. Don't loot. Uh, one, two, three, four. We'll get rid of the island. You got something to do? Oh, you're getting soothed. You're soothing us. Maybe that's what they had. Okay. Okay, maybe Gloria Scale is not a threat to us. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Do we play a land this turn? I want to make sure we do. Didn't have a ring bearer at my wedding. <laughs> well... You know what they say. Oh, that's pretty good. Now you're just now you're just showing off. So they're gonna attack for five. We're doing much worse now. That one turn really ch turned the tides, but they're tapped out. So everything is still okay. Three, four, five, six. We'll have seven mana. We can definitely play two things. Unless one of the things is five mana banish. That guy's big. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven mana. We'll play Bill first, because that will ring bearer us. I 
Oh boy. Oh boy. What do you do now? You know, what do you do? I think we can get rid of this guy. He's a little clumsy. Okay. That feels good. Lots of food. If we hit a land next turn, we can play two four drops. Oh, man, they're being very specific with their mana. Flame of Anor. Okay, Relentless Row Hiram. That's fine. We can chump block that guy all day. That guy being whoever they make the ring bear. We have one one, so. And now they have a white and a blue up. Yep. I think they're going to loot. They're going to get their little looty tooties on. I'm actually tempted to double block here. Oh, never mind. Not so much when they actually get a... When they get a counter on there. If I could deal four to it and kill it, that's fine, but I don't want to deal five, like... Besides, we're just going to draw another Banish, right? Right? Guys? We did not. It's not what we drew. You see. So, this guy and this guy. Easy game, easy life. Bill's getting hungry. Could we have alpha and probably won there? I think so. I think we could have alpha But... Oof! Oof! Our deck is great when it gets going. All right. Everybody's coming up Millhouse. That's not how that goes. What do we get? Oh, Rona Shieldred's Faithful. Can't wait to put that in my Rona Shieldred's Faithful deck. Can't believe I didn't have four Ronas for that already. God, weird. Trab Poog pick up. Oh, God. Am I so out of touch? No, it's the children who are wrong. It's true. This is always Rob from New York. Fantastic. I'll keep this. Man, you got a land and a food. What a time to be alive. You got a card. That's good. But it's Rona's Faithful. That's bad. <gasps> what are the fucking odds of that? Literally 1 in 33. Wow, that was good. Oh, I guess we're all just so tempted here, huh?
Frodo Baginas. Time for breakfast. What a weird thing to say. God, Australians say the weirdest things. Fantastic. Let me guess, you're going to attack for four as well. Phenomenal. Okay, now we're going to put it on the right guy. What if we built a bridge to Australia? Would anyone use it? I would use it. <laughs> from where? <laughs> you know, from here. Oh, where does it start at? Where does it end? Nobody knows. It's just a bridge, man. Just, just use it. Don't be ridiculous. Just use the bridge. You're asking a lot of stupid questions. You know what? Look, man, I'm the idea guy, okay? I'm just coming up with the ideas. You guys have to figure out the details on your own, right? Bridge to Australia. That's where I go. Now you guys take it away and do what you got to do with it. Oh, yeah, give that dude a mushroom. Three? I'll take three. A lot of Shire Sheriffs we got here, you know? I'll keep the bath song and I'll bottom that thing. Let's see what else we can get. Another land. Sounds good. Sounds goody good good gumdrops. Ooh, beautiful. Getting so cottoned right now. Drawing cards, getting rosied. Where's my Faramirs? My Emrahills. Emrahills, that's what I meant. Not Faramir. Those are two different creatures. Uh, I think I'm going to not block that. That hobbit just arrested a dog. That's true. That sounds, that sounds correct. What? Choose a creature. Oh, that's what I meant. I'm just bearing rings. Ring baron. I'm the ring baron. Come and get your little ringies from me. Stuart, what are you watching the stream on? That's my question. What are you watching it on? Laptop? iPad? Your tiny little cellular telephone? What's it, what's it going to be? Drugs. <laughs> okay, well, that's... Sure, you know. Are you guys all getting 440p as my... As my source? Because I feel like I fixed it. Yeah, it goes, it goes... It goes iPad and then drugs just right below it. Just so close. Good. I'm glad. More like 420p. No. No, no. <laughs> no, no. Oh, Jesus. God, give me strength. 
I kind of want to put this guy in because they're obviously playing orcs and orcs and schmorks, you know. I think we're just fine like this. My iPad has been sore for 60 days. I'm really glad. I hate it when good iPads go bad. Oh, I'll keep this even though we have double Prince Imrahil. I think I think they're good enough to to double up on, you know. Is it possible to get a 3-0 in this draft? Can we do it? Can this redeem our our blue white failures from from days past? No. Okay. Well, no. Don't like that. Well, they do like giving me an abundance of whatever land I have the most of. Ooh, Faramir into- Ooh, look at this combination move! If you just don't kill my Prince Emerhal, I think we're in really good, really good shape. Just don't kill it, that's all, and we're gonna do great. We're gonna do great. Great things. What's that you're drinking? It's a little sun-kissed orange zero sugar. They took all the sugar out. I don't know what they did with it. But that's not my business, you know what I mean? Look at that. Did you see that? Where is Rob? That's a good question. You should message him on Facebook and try to figure it out. You know what? Let's get this stupid idiot out of here. Yep, that's a card, all right. That's... A card, all right. If a creature died, draw a card. Whenever the ring tempts you. Hmm. Well, I think this is correct. But we're going to get in a free point here. That's a paddle -in. You better believe that's a paddling. Look at the bottom of these lands. Can you guys see that? Let me see. I bet you can. Look how they're broken down here. Look at this. It's like all... It looks like a static TV. Give me that damage. Oh, you can sacrifice a token. That's great, because you conveniently made four foods. So, just phenomenal. No, they didn't block. What did they think was gonna happen? What were you what were you so afraid of? Do you consider yourself a fan of mushroom soda? I don't. I've never considered myself that. Nor mushrooms, for that matter. But I love chicken marsala. <laughs> who who would have thought, you know? Jesus Christ. I'm a fan of anything that exists against the will of the universe. Jesus Christ. Yeah. Me too. Because fuck the universe, am I right? What is it even trying to do? Being all big? Empty? What does this do? Each player mills cards equal to your... Jesus Christ. My whole library is gone now. Destroy all non-legendary creatures. Well, you know what they say. I wish I had a second white source. Don't need it. Got this one. <laughs> Goodbye, you fat biscuit. You fat biscuit.
And then what's it do? Each opponent loses a life for each creature card in that player's graveyard. Good gravy. Each player? How many you got? One, two, three, four, five? Six? How many I got? One, three? Buddy. Let's say it says each each opponent. Yeah, it's each opponent, not each player. What are you talking about? Still be the fucking game. I do love a good mushroom soda. I lied earlier. It's my secret. It's my secret vice. Stuart knows. Every time we're chatting, he's like, God, you're drinking another mushroom soda? And you know I am. Just chugging away. That's what they call me. They call me the, the MS chugger. MSC. Because of all the mushroom sodas I drink, you know? Oh, you just spent five mana for that? Wild. Much as I'd love to do this, I think we're just going to do this. But it doesn't do anything for now, you know? Why is that a sorcery, you know? Yep, guess we're taking seven. Oh, I took four. Oh, we had four. They had six. They had six. We had three. So I added one to theirs instead of ours. It's just surprising because there's so much salt. Yeah, the sodium content in the mushroom soda is just... It's really out of control. Mushroom soda. That was my nickname in high school. Oh, that's that's a logic. That, that makes a lot of sense as a nickname, too. I get it. Oh, they didn't attack. Well, that's just great for us, because now we get to do the thing. I don't actually want Captain of Umbar. I don't feel like I need to play this. And if we do, like, bounce something next turn, we do want to have a card to discard. God, they have so many cards in their hand. He seemed like a fun guy. Get out. Just get out. Just, just get out. Just leave. Fascinating. Honestly, I think I really just want to play both of these so I can get through with this guy. One, two, three, one, two, and then also trigger this. That's, that's a cool one. Okay, now we're talking. Be a good sport. Oh my god. So many mushroom comments. So little time. Four. They have seven lands, and then the bath song gives them two more mana, so they have nine total mana. I'm hoping they play something for like eight mana and I get to reprieve it. That does mean they have something for that much mana, which makes me sad. I just want to reprieve something cool.
Okay, you got it. You got the Shire Terrace. Who hasn't been there? Hello? Are you there, God? It's me, Franklin. Oh, oh this is it! You cast spells. Oh my god, so good. Oh, that guy's good too. So we can switch Ring Bearer to this guy and get in for a point. So what does this do? You may cast spells from among them for as long as they remain exiled and mana of any type. Sure. So you just get to cast my creatures. One, two, three, four, five. Oh, we can play both of these. Ooh, I don't like that, though. Fudge. Fudge McMudge. I think we have to discard Rose. I don't want to discard either of these because of this. Four, five, six, seven, eight. I mean, I don't want them to play this and get rid of our big guy. So I'm going to discard Rosie. But also, if we just keep this in hand, then we get to exile whatever they're... And then exile our creature... I'm assuming it comes back to us if we get rid of it. If they get rid of Shire Sheriff. How many cards do they have left? 18 and we have 16? Okay. Do you have anything you can cast here? You get you get one Prince Emrahil. Sounds good. A second Shire Sheriff. So that makes me wonder, like, what's the best choice here? Um, I definitely get rid getting rid of Prince Emmerhill, I think, because... I don't want them to start doing things. Like, they're going to play this guy, start getting 1-1s. One one Frodo's pretty good, isn't he? Yeah, let's get rid of the second Sheriff, and we'll just play a Frodo. Okay. That feels good. They do have three food. It's not nothing. Two foods. Yeah, that's pretty good. Yeah, the rosy cotton interaction is kind of rough. Yeah, maybe I shouldn't have given them rosy with Peregrine Took. That would have been 
smart. We should have a lot of... A lot of blockers. That's interesting. You have two mana and you're drawing cards. Easy choice. Do you just trade any sack of food? Maybe. So we did do that. So get rid of Rosie and Bill, both of which were mine, sadly. Interesting. So we have a ton of blockers, which is nice. It's so weird when no one in chat says anything for like 15 minutes. I'm always like, what happened? Also, how come there's no timestamps? Where are the timestamps? I don't see uh, an option for timestamps, but I feel like there used to be. You're weird. Fair. Fair point, good sir. Wonderful. Fantastic. Oh, look, another one of my beautiful creatures. Oh, look, another one of my beautiful creatures. Well, they drew like six cards off of my beautiful creatures. And now I don't have anything to do. So I'm going to pass and let them utterly destroy me. Wow, this game felt like it was going really well. Or when I reprieved their spell, and then they were like, draw six of your cards anyway, you stupid idiot. Okay. Oh, that's good. I think. It's not bad. You're in big trouble, Mr. Mushroom. Dear Jesus, God. Make him stop.
four five. Four five took, huh? Got a bunch of mana. Do you have any tricks on board? You can make him a five five. I think this like just having this much food makes this game seem really hard to win. I also have four timeouts, they have none, so that's something I guess. Um Just feels bad, man. <laughs> Let's draw something impactful. I keep dropping this thing. Wonder if you guys can hear that. That's that's probably one of the better things you could have drawn here. Does this do anything? No. Well, the ring tempts us, and that actually that actually is pretty good. What, are they going to respond to this? I'm sure they're going to get rid of this 1-1 one, one token. That's Bear in the Ring. Goodbye, little token man. I'll put you in the garbage can. Oh, I guess you're gonna swing. Trigger all the triggered things. Hmm. Oh, no, I only got two mana. Oh, biscuits. Sad. Very sad. What if my mustache looks like this? Mm, it's a little too, a little too derivative of something else. It's not good. God, you just can't wear that mustache anymore, you know? Just ruined it for everybody. Wait, what is this? How do they have this? What did they get? What's going on? Why is this here? What is going on? Because we have ours in our graveyard here and ours in our hand. What is, am I going crazy? What is this? Why is this here? It seems clear they're not playing those colors. None of these cards. Can someone explain it to me? I don't really don't understand why this is right here. Is it because they know about it and accidentally put it in their hand, like to show off? Oh boy, this is 
thoroughly. Yeah, bird in the hand is worth two in the bush. That's actually, that seems correct. Oh, I didn't see that something else was attacking. Cool. Sweet system. <laughs> Don't actually know how I died there. Uh, okay. Well, as long as it's not super convoluted, that's the only thing that matters. Still don't know why this, this bird is in your hand. They, there's nothing that could have taken it from our yard, right? The ring tempts you. Gandalf, this guy, this guy, this guy, and this guy. This guy died in the trade with it. And nothing behind it or in front of it would have put it in there. So I literally have no idea why it's there. Like, shockingly confusing. Yeah, and it wouldn't go to the hand. Like, that's what I mean. Like, it's got to be just a bug. But it's really tilting because I don't know what's going on. Snappy, Snappy McKeeperson. So they have to win in eight minutes. Their time is much lower than ours. And it bodes well for us if they take this long to play a land on turn one. Fascinating. They have so many relevant, like, legendary tiny creatures, though, that Stern Scolding seems good, like Peregrine Took, or the one that doubles the creature, the tokens, which I guess is Peregrine Took, or the one that whenever you attack makes it food, or... Sure. Do I just play that? Play it as a man. It's very tempting. I'm not sure, though. I don't think it's worth it. See, that's what we care about. That stupid idiot. Oh, that's gonna be good. Let's do that. Oof, what do we want to get rid of here? Probably forest because we already have wizards. And we can just keep rockets around until we hit Frodo. Not ideal. We probably should have played forest that turn so then we could easily discard an island. That's fine. Oh boy. Um, we want to hit a land. So, geez. Do we just get rid of Shire Sheriff? I feel like it's probably a reprieve here. That 
that's pretty good. Pretty cool as your first creature. I'm just going to shuffle all four of these back in, actually. Uh, so what do we have? Three, four, five, six, seven, eight mana. You can just play horn here. Let's add a green in case we draw Frodo. <laughs> okay. Well, that's also similar. And I'm all for uh, soothing my own guai here to to save it. <laughs> So many doggies. Yep, you got it. Wow, fantastic. Fucking amazing. Oh, God. That's so ridiculous, dude. Double Lash, which we've seen none of in games one or two. Fantastic. Just didn't have them. Now all of a sudden.
hidden here nothing stupid <laughs> okay how much mana for i have seven mana so i can play prince and anything else even bill also seems pretty good here it gets us some some valuable life and we also get to keep up stern scolding One, two, three, four. Billium. I mean, this is actually pretty decent because we get to, they're going to lose all their creatures. Presumably. I mean, I can't imagine, like, we just get to keep Bill and Prince, Prince Imrahil. And they have one card in hand. And then we get to crack both our foods to go up to like 13. So this feels okay. Oh, I guess this guy's legendary. I guess they are keeping that. Sure. Actually kind of glad we didn't take anything with our Shire Sheriff. <laughs> then they would have gotten a creature back. <laughs> Never fails, dude. Never fucking fails. Always have one of 19 pieces of removal. One, two, three... I, mean, I guess we can block. <sighs> oh, they targeted themselves. Fascinating. We have two minutes and 21 seconds to win the game. I don't think it's going to happen because they just drew seven cards that are all extremely cheap. But they're all green, and I guess green is their bottleneck, so... Sure. Oh, no, never mind. You can use any mana to cast these, can't you? So close, yet yeah, so far. Sure. Oh, God. And that's going to be the end, I'm sure. Yep, that'll do. All right. A minute and 31 seconds left. Takes every second in the round. Thank you guys for watching. Slam those like and subscribe buttons. Be sure to follow on Twitch or YouTube, wherever you want to. Check out HelloFresh. It's a great way to get a 
great deal on some sweet, delicious meals. You get 50% off your first box along with free shipping. You can find the promo code down below and the link. So you can just click it, order your meals, do whatever you want. I'll see you next time. Thanks for watching, guys.